Stan Van Parks. I uh, was born in Los Angeles, raised in Modesto, and uh, slowly, through my Catholic training, drifted pretty far from the Lord, not to blame them. Catholics are great people. And uh, then I moved up to Oregon and drifted even further from the Lord, started going to a non-denominational church, and uh, had a personal experience with the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, while I was up there, uh, my marriage fell apart. My two sons were quite small then, and uh, my whole life just fell apart. But I uh, committed my heart to the Lord. It was kind of tough, but I stayed with Him, learned to tithe. I'm suggesting to any of you here that, that don't like the idea of tithing, that's fine. It's not going to keep you out of heaven. We're saved by grace. But uh, tithing opens the door of God's blessings into your life. And if you're struggling, you should be tithing. Uh, it was a hard lesson for me. I'm not going to say that's easy. It was tough, tough for me. Uh, one time I was uh, had been tithing for three or four years. Luckily, by the grace of God, when I gave my heart to Jesus Christ, this couple said, You've got to tithe. And I go, what's that? I was, you know, and they go, that's 10% of all you made. So I went to the Lord in prayer and I said, dear Lord, I'm supposed to give you 10%. Nobody told me about this. And so the Lord says, well, let's talk. Because, you know, you read your Bible, you talk to God. And he said, uh, how much were you given to the devil before you got saved? And I go, oh, well, let's see. Uh, my alcohol consumption and my other illegal consumptions, I uh, Probably 80%. <laughs> and the Lord said to me, so you gave 80% to the devil, and now you're complaining about giving me 10%. And I go, oops. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. So I gladly gave the Lord 10%, and I always just made it. Three or four years goes by, and I go, dear God, I was told the windows of heaven are going to open. I'm still living from paycheck to paycheck. And, of course, all my bills were paid. I had the rent. I had the groceries. I was treading water. So the Lord didn't say anything. And uh, God has always given me, not always, but in my lifetime, God has given me uh, visions of things that could, that could happen and did happen. And I had a vision of my... Uh, four-year-old son, because he loved to dart across the street, darting in front of the street and getting hit by a car. So I said, John, don't run across the street without stopping and looking. Okay, Dad. So we're at parked in front of my house on a windy, rainy, lightly rainy day. Roads are all slick. And my son, John's just getting out of the car, just shutting the truck, just shutting the door, and his older brother across the street screaming, John, we got a sale. They were selling stuff for Christian school. And of course, John takes his hand off the door and makes a beeline around the front of my car running across the street. So now I see this happening. It's all that taking seconds. I'm just scared to death. I look in my side review mirror and an old pickup truck with two guys in the probably 30s are just blaring around the road. And I just thought, uh, my son's going to be killed. And I could not roll the window down the screen. I could not get the door open. It was like a nightmare. And John came around in front of my car, saw the pickup, and froze. And that pickup stopped so close to him, oh. he could have reached out and touched the front of it. Oh. And I was totally freaked out. I was probably on the verge of a heart attack and dying. And this clear, small voice comes into my mind and says, there's your answer. And I thought, tithing isn't just money. It's everything. It's health. It's yeah. prosperity. It's peace. It's happiness. Yeah. And I felt, oh. Praise God. Because that same son, I, a year or two before that, we were at a library, and he's two years old, was running across these cushions, and I had a vision of him tripping on the end cushion for my table there, hitting his head and cracking his head open. One week later, the same day, we're there at the library, 
and I look up just as my two-year-old's already tripped, and his head's coming down right for that, for right the table edge. Wham! He hit it so hard that he pushed the skin up. I could see the bone underneath. The pain was so hard, bad that he could no sound came out of his mouth. He was just like frozen. And I just screamed. I grabbed my hand over it. It's a blood oozing out. And I told the librarian, you've got to take me to the doctor. She goes, I can't leave the library. There was two of them. And I said, oh, yes, you can, or I'll sue you for everything you got. I didn't know what else to say. We're in that little town of Sweet Old Oregon. And so she goes, okay. And we jumped in the car, and I took John over, and he got stitches, and he still has a scar today. Well, that in the background, then the idea of the car coming, or the truck coming, I thought my son was going to be killed right before my eyes. So the gist of my story is, if you want God's blessing on your life, tithe. It's not going to save you. If Jesus Christ is in your heart, you are saved. But there's so much more as a Christian you can have right here on this earth. And God bless you all. It's been a wonderful pleasure. I'll be driving back to Oregon in less than a week. And where it's raining, that's God's country. Thank you very much, Jack. Thank you, Stan.